Not much has changed for traditional gauchos here in the southern Brazilian state of Rio Grande do Sal. They still chase after cows on horseback, they still roast meat over an open fire. The term refers to anyone born in the state, and every year the men and women who want to keep the traditions of the culture alive hold a huge festival in the capital, Porto Alegre. They build wooden houses and live and dress like they always have. Today being a gaucho is a feeling, a feeling of belonging to a community, rather than a characteristic of someone who was just born in this particular region or state. Being a gaucho is a feeling in this era. Porto Alegre does not have a huge number of tourists, so the annual festival has been brought forward to coincide with the World Cup. There are people in this region who still live the traditional life, but in the city many have forgotten their past culture. So the festival acts as a reminder, as well as a way to teach children how their parents and grandparents used to live. Initially it's difficult to share this feeling with them, because we don't have a gaucho video game. We need to create a gaucho one, and a gaucho movie. But they understand that this is our tradition, that this is part of their elders' lives, and they then make it part of their own lives. Arguably the most famous gaucho, certainly during the World Cup, is Brazilian coach Scolari, who was born 200 kilometers away. Everyone here supports him and believes he can lead Brazil to glory. He's a great guy. I know him from Canoas. He always had these personal qualities. He's a father and we know his family a little bit. He always was like a dad, even before he had kids. He was already considered to be fatherly. As Scolari's men are playing, the streets here at the festival are empty. Everyone is crowded around a TV, much like the rest of the country. And when they win, how better to celebrate than with some traditional dancing.